everyone this is Aishi welcome to Swift Learn India's most sincere learning destination for classes 1 to 10 I am back with another new chapter today which is patterns and it is a very fun and exciting chapter you will really like it okay so before I dive into a topic for those who are new here let me give you a brief description about Swift Learn at Swift Learn we provide 100% live and interactive classes at the comfort of your home and according to your convenient timings here in one single batch we have six students maximum never more than six students if you want you can opt for one to one tuitions as well here we have a dedicated academic mentor team who is going to guide you and track your progress throughout your journey we covered the syllabus as per the school exam schedule and then we handle custom requests as well coming to the key features of swift learn at the end of every month we are going to provide you with a detailed progress report and we are also going to share it with your parents we recognize the importance of practice therefore at swift learn you can take unlimited practice tests on every sunday you can also opt for the swift learn academic test series that is SATs. We not only cover objective questions but subjective questions as well for your school exams. So go to the SwiftLearn website and book a free trial class today. For those who are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon so that you never miss any update from us as we share a lot of knowledgeable videos based, based on various topics and various subjects and therefore it's going to be really really helpful to you. So here we are going to start with patterns. Okay, let's see. Uh, so our objectives will be introduction to patterns, meaning of patterns and then picture patterns. Okay. So, hey Ria, do you know there are so many patterns around us? Oh really? Let's see them. So we do see a lot of patterns. See, look at this pavement. It has been made using a pattern of bricks, right? Can you see? The bricks are all arranged in a pattern over here. Just see. Yeah, all these bricks have been arranged in a Pattern. So we see patterns every day around us. This there is a pattern in the petals of a flower as well. Yeah. So if you notice a flower properly, then also you will see that in this, uh, you know, uh, petals of the flowers, there also you will notice like a pattern, right? So we see patterns every day, everywhere around us. And do you know what these patterns inspire us in mathematics as well? So look at these images that are randomly arranged right like stars and then you have a house now look at these images so can you see can you see a pattern in this in, in this series of images like first we have a house then a star then a house again a star house and star right so after this what should be present a house should be present right and then again a star so here we can see that each and every house is followed by a star this is the pattern in this series of pictures see how do we know that the next image will be of the house so you guessed it correct that after the star there will be a house but how did we know that because by looking at the pattern only we observe that after every house there is a star right like because of the pattern following in the images we can see that after every uh, house, we have a star, right? First, you have a house and then you have a star. Again, you have a house and then again, you have a star. Okay. Now, let's take another example. So, here are some images randomly arranged, right? We don't know somewhere the boy is standing, somewhere the car is present. So, this is random arrangement. But this is not random arrangement. This arrangement is done in a specific order. Car, boy, car, boy like that, right? So, car, boy. So, after this car, we have a boy. That means what will be the next image after this boy? It will be a car because we can see that after every car, we have a boy, right? After following every car, we have a boy that we can observe observe very clearly from the pattern. So what is a pattern? A pattern is a collection of shapes, numbers, words, etc. which are arranged according to a rule, right? So it can be some shapes also, it can be some numbers also like 1 and then 2 and then 1 and then 2. So the next one will be 1, right? So this is a collection of numbers that are being arranged in a pattern and they are arranged in a specific rule. What is the rule? After every one, we have a two. After every one, we have a two. With the help of this rule, we can guess that, okay, after this two, there will be a one. So, a pattern is nothing but a collection of shapes, numbers, words, which are arranged according to a rule. Now, come to this example. So, here you have some images as well. So, after every, you know, butterscotch ice cream, we have this purple ice cream again. So, these are all arranged in a pattern, right? After every yellow ice cream, we have a purple ice cream. Yellow ice cream, purple ice cream, like that. 
Now look at this pattern over here. First we have a 1 that is repeated one time. Next because we have a 2, 2 is repeated two times. We have a 3 so 3 has been written three times. 4 so 4 has been written four times. 5 so 5 has been written five times. So after this if you write 6 you should write 6 six times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right. So this is the uh, rule that they are following over here. So this is how we can simply identify the rule. So look at this example now we have a house that is uh, at first it is present in the normal manner and then we have an upside down house and then again, then again a straight house and then uh, an upside down house right and we can see that after each and every normal house we have an upside down house so definitely after this upside down house there is going to be like a normal house right so the instructions will be you need to observe the pattern very carefully and just see how uh, the next element is appearing just after which the next element is appearing try to state your rule and then you apply the rule to get the missing image right so see this will be the missing figure because after each and every normal house we have an upside down house so here after this upside down house we are going to have a normal house so we can see that one image is straight next is rotated third is straight and again rotated and so on so this is the pattern over here now what are the different types of patterns that we have we have basically uh, mainly we have three types of patterns picture pattern that means when the pictures are arranged in some rule then we have words pattern when words some words are arranged in a certain rule and then we have some numbers pattern that means when we have some numbers arranged according to a specific rule okay so picture pattern words pattern and then numbers pattern now let's come to this picture pattern picture pattern is nothing but arrangement of shapes colors designs which are repeated at a regular interval according to a rule like right so we already saw a lot of examples of picture patterns so let's see this one see we have a car boy, car boy, car boy. So, we can see that after each and every car, we have a boy, right? Okay, now let's try to guess this. What should be present over here? So, we have a rocket that is facing upwards. This rocket is facing towards the right. This rocket is facing downwards. Therefore, so first this is upward, then this is downwards. So, this is facing towards the right. Then definitely, this is going to face towards the left, right? Yeah. This is going to face towards the left. So, this is how we can find out the next missing image according to the pattern. See, this will be the missing figure. Here we can clearly see that in the first picture, triangle is at top position, then right, then bottom. So, then the next triangle will be at the left position. Now, let's try to identify this pattern now. So, here which part is missing? This one is missing. Okay, in the second image, what is happening? So, rightmost up, this is rightmost down is missing. Then the leftmost down is missing. So, definitely for the next one, the leftmost up will be missing, right? So, rightmost up missing, rightmost down missing. If it is leftmost down missing, then in the next one, what will happen? The leftmost upper part is going to be missing, right? Very, very easy. Now, identify the picture which breaks the pattern, right? Which is the picture that is breaking the pattern? So, umbrella straight upside down. Straight upside down. So, here you should have had a straight umbrella, right? But instead they have given you an upside down umbrella. So, this is the picture that is breaking the pattern. So, our answer is going to be E. E option breaks the pattern. Okay. Next one. Identify the picture which breaks the pattern. Okay. So, you can see a normal bird, normal bird, normal bird, upside down bird, normal bird. That means after every normal bird, we should have an upside down bird. So, here also that after the normal bird, this one should be an upside down bird, right? This one should be an upside down bird. Therefore, here the picture that is breaking the pattern is B, okay? All right. Identify the next picture in the pattern. So, just see. The tip of the pizza is facing downwards. Tip of the pizza is facing towards the right. Here the tip of the pizza is facing facing upwards. Therefore, the next uh, the pizza tip is going to face towards the right. That's it. So, downwards. Sorry, this is left. Downwards, right, up and then left. That's it. So, it is very, very easy to identify the patterns and write down your answers. Okay. Here you can see the bouquet of the flowers is facing upwards. 
then it is towards the right then it is downwards and then again this is upwards again this is towards the right so definitely after right what you can see downwards so now the bouquet of the flower is going to be downwards right so upwards right down up that means again after up if we have right next one will be down so simply observe the pattern and you can solve it really really easily find out the location of the stars here the first two stars are present uh, on the left hand side here it is present on below here it is present on the right hand side so definitely this one will be present here right at the top the stars will be present at the top that's it this will be the answer really easy identify the picture which breaks the pattern okay so we have a bat uh, that is rotated then a normal bat rotated bat then again it is becoming rotated bat rotated bat and then a normal bat so definitely there is some problem that means this one should be the opposite one like this one should be our normal bat right like this so then it would have been rotated bat okay so just imagine i am taking this handle and i am writing this is facing upwards this is facing downwards this is facing upwards therefore this one should face downwards then again this handle is facing upwards now this handle should face downwards right so which is the figure that is breaking the pattern d d is the answer that is breaking our pattern over here so this is how you can easily spot out that which is the picture that is breaking the pattern so what did we learn today we learned introduction to patterns meaning of patterns and also picture patterns we did a lot of examples of patterns thank you so much for watching this video if you like to this session make sure to hit on the like button and also share this video with your friends and family so that we all can come together and learn together thank you so much see you next time with another new topic bye bye take care